What's up, YouTube? Thanks for coming to my channel. My name is One of a Kind Vlogs. If you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video, and comment down below. Now, today is warm and it is musty outside today. It's supposed to be 90 degrees outside today. And me, mm, I think I'm just going to stay in my humble abode right here. You know what I'm saying? Just stay in my humble abode right here. <laughs> And I'm not going outside. I go outside, I'm gonna take the dog outside, and then everything else, I'm just gonna stay right here and chill, if you know what I mean. Ain't nothing else to do today. Think, sit back and chill, make me a couple of videos, get back on my game. Um, you know, like I said, I got a lot going on. Father's Day is tomorrow. Uh, please keep me in your prayers, because it's gonna be very, very hard for us on Father's Day. Um, I'm already catching heat with it because he's not here. I mean, he's here in spirit, but not physically here. If you know what I'm saying, he's not here. So, you know, I just need y'all's prayer on that note. And then other than that, I need to do a lot of other stuff I need to do that I ain't been doing lately. But it's coming. It's coming. I know my word is bond. So I got to continue to put one foot forward and, you know, if, if, listen, if God make one step, I'll make two, okay? I ain't going backwards, I'm going forward. I may have it backwards, but anyway, you know what I'm talking about. I want to talk to y'all today about your surroundings, okay? You got to watch your surroundings. Because it, it ain't pretty, especially over here. The cops done been over here. The cops live over here. They was over here for the homicide the other day, right? I filmed it, some of it. They was over here for somebody had stole a car and parked it in the, in the parking lot back here. Police comes back. It was on the side of the building. The same freaking day, somebody stole that car out there. Now, I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to need the security to get on the ball because it's about to get summer. It ain't got summer yet. July, August, and September. Them days, that's what's going to tell the tale how it's going to go over here. But so far, so good. It's going like it is now. And to be honest with you, I don't like it because that means now I'm going to have to go outside with something in my pocket. Just in case somebody acts stupid. If you know what I mean. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. I'm too old for that. Yeah, that's right, my slogan. I'm too old for that. Um, Just watch your surroundings. And if, if, if things don't seem right, sit back and analyze what's going on. Okay? If you think that Okay, uh, my car won't crank. It's the reason why your car won't crank. Now, I just read something a few minutes ago on my page, and the guy was complaining to God. He, he was sitting on the bench. The dog was sitting right beside him on a rock. I think from, no, he's sitting on the bench. And he was asking him a bunch of questions. He was like, and I'm paraphrasing what I just read. He said, he was complaining. This is what he said. He said, God, he said, he said Jesus. He said, I woke up late this morning because I know I had to be at work on time. I woke up late. He said, then my car went crank up. He said, then I got to work and I made the wrong sandwich. No, no he said, they made me the wrong sandwich. He said, then, um, what else did he say? He went on and on and on and on, right? I can't remember all of it. But then it was Jesus' time to reply to what he said. He said, What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? He said, I let you sleep because there was a death angel at your bed. So I had to dispatch an angel to come and fight him off for your life. I start thinking, hmm. He said, your car wouldn't crank because it was a, a drunk driver coming down the road. He said, I didn't want you to be in that accident or around that situation. He said, they made your food wrong because the person was sick who made your food. I 
still thinking, still thinking. And then he said, um, near the end of it, he goes, the guy kept saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He said, don't be sorry. He said, just trust me. That's something we don't do. We don't trust God enough to handle our problems or do what we need to do. That's us. We need to start trusting him. That's the problem. We don't do that. Almost like almost like you leave the house and you be like, man, I forgot my keys. You go back, I mean your cell phone. I go back in and get my cell phone. And it's a wreck 10 minutes up the street. Which could have been you. But God didn't want you to go through that. We don't trust him enough. That's the problem. Everything going on in your life is because God got it set up that way. He wants us to trust him. If he say, go up there and ask this man for a promotion. We sit back and wait till somebody else get up there and walk up there and ask for promotion. They get the, they get the promotion that you're supposed to have. Just because we don't listen to Jesus Christ. If he said, if it's two cars on the lot, and you going after the, the white one, and God saying, go for the silver one, it's a better buy, even if it's got everything you want that's on that white one, you're going to pick the one you want, and the other car had a better rebate. I, I, don't, I don't man I sit back I listen, I listen to myself I watch myself here lately I do some dumb stuff too don't get me wrong God tell me go out here on this patio and sit down and do a live broadcast and I decide to do the live broadcast inside and then something happens outside I could have got the footage you don't know I don't know who I'm ministering to when I'm outside I don't know if the lady downstairs is listening or the lady upstairs is listening or the lady over on the other side is listening if God say go out there and bring people into the church, but I just go out there and talk to them instead of saying, "Look, I'm, 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 I'm Brother Brown. I'm new to this area. Uh, we got a church uh, right up the street, New Creation Christian Church. New Creation Christian Church. We would love to have you, Pastor Apostle Karen. We would love to have you come to our church and check us out." That's what God wants me to do. I go in there and be like, yo, what's going on? Yeah, you know, I'm, yeah, my name Brian. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, you know, we got a church up the street. They ain't gonna look at me like the same as as as, as if I said it the first time. The first time is more professional than the second. The second time is like, uh, yeah, they probably look at me like, oh, he's just another brother in the neighborhood. They ain't got nothing going on. They ain't got nothing going on. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just, we need to sit back and listen to him. Jesus is the key. Jesus, God, angel, whatever. He is the key to our situation, our life. He has already wrote our life. Everybody got a different thing to do. Ain't nobody got the same thing going on. Whatever he got written in that book, or when he started that book, is whatever we got to follow. I'm on a mission. You on a mission. You on a mission. You down there is on a mission. You across there is on a mission. Everybody's on a different mission. Are we going to complete the mission, though? It's a problem. I don't know. Because we don't listen to God. My title going to be on this thing, Why We Don't Listen to God. Or Jesus. Jesus, God. I don't want if he say, if he say it's a watch, and it's, it's a watch you always wanted. It could be a Rolex, or it could be one of them... Uh, Pentec. I think it's how you say it. Pentec is, is under Rolex. It's the same thing, just different, different, different this. Right? He tells you to get the Pentec. A Pentec, Pentec. And instead of you getting that, you get you, you say, huh, I'm getting the Rolex. You get the Rolex and that's like a something wrong with it. A week later when he told you to get the Pentec, less value, you saved you some money. But no, you want to go out and get holy rolling. Mm, I'm getting the Rolex. We don't listen to God, man. We don't listen to him. If he say take this exit for some odd reason and you keep straight and it's a it's the road is well, you gotta do a U-turn and come back up the road. He trying to tell you. We don't listen. If it's in our heart, we go somewhere and God put in your put in your heart to do something and we don't listen. That's your blessing, cut short. Because we didn't listen. Now I'm going to end this video. And I'm going to give y'all something to think about. 
why we don't listen to Jesus, God, how we have life in God. Why we don't listen to him? And if you know why we don't listen to him, put it in the comment section. I like to see what y'all talking about. I respond, I try to respond to everyone, everybody. So that, that's that's y'all's that's y'all's homework for the day. When y'all see this video, at the end of this video, which is about to be now, write there in the comment section why we don't listen to him. Now, until next time, I want to say if you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, click on post notifications so that you'll never miss a video, and comment down below. Remember that you're too blessed to be stressed. Love and happiness at all times. Hug somebody and tell them you love them and always do a random act of kindness. You don't know where your blessing is coming from. You don't know how it's coming. You don't know when it's coming. You don't know nothing. If God put in your heart to give that man $10, get him $10. If God laid it in your heart to that man say he's hungry, take the $10 and go in and buy him some meat. The man say he's thirsty, take him in the store and buy him some drink. Man say he don't have no clothes, you got extra clothes, give him your clothes. Nine times out of ten, we're going to get it back anyway. Four, five times, four. We got to do what we got to do. A lot of people are unfortunate. And if God laid it on your heart to give to you, God laid it on my heart to give my man his hat. I don't care how my heart look. He's going to get this hat. Keep the sun out of his face. Okay? I'll be frank with you. But, anyway, that's another video. Come and, get, come, come, and get, come and join my channel for $2.99. We building an empire for God. And uh, my merch, I have merch. The merch is only free shipping. I ordered my shirt. It's coming. I'm telling you, every video to my shirt comes. My shirt is coming. I do have one on order that is on its way. Maybe we'll have, maybe I'll fix it so that everybody can get a shirt. We're going to have shirt day. And the one to wear that shirt, when I call out shirt day, going to get a prize from me. You never know. I told you. I'm getting back on the grind. I'm getting back to the, the one that always gives all the time. I'm getting blessing after blessing after blessing. I ain't going to name no name. But back last year when I was doing all that giving, I was getting blessing after blessing. I don't really have no ear wheel. I was getting blessing after blessing after blessing of stuff that I was doing. Now, think about that. Anytime you do something good, God rewards you. May not be right now. It might be when you least suspect it. Because I've been getting stuff lately least suspected. So, hey, I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? So, until next time, my name is One of a Kind Vlogs, and I, I will see you on the next video.